about to go live. We are live. Uh, today is December 5th, 2015, and I have with me Wendy and Brian physically. You see, we are in the same, same, same room, and we have Jim and tons of people in, in Jim's room. Jim, can you introduce your, your folks? Well, I have here Angie and Helga, Alan, who is a first-time person here, and Sandy, and Mark, and Mark. So, and then you can announce who's on Ucolo over there. Yes, wonderful. Um, let me click buttons. Um, another Brian. Um, I can see it. I think that's Carolina. Carolina. I can't read it from the screen. It's too small. We have now a 15 people webinar, so actually I can. I think. Hold on. I will do miracles. I will do miracles. <laughs> Little miracles. Technical one. <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. So I can't read from the screen, but we can guess. And Johannes. Christy. Christy. Yes, okay. Kieran. Lani. Hey, Lani. Luis. Makika. Yes, we know Makika. Roxy. Hey, Roxy. And we got echo from someone. Chris, oh, that's Sheer. I'll have to mute Chris. Okay, Sheer, uh, Steven. Oh, Sheer is here. Hi. Valerie and Zina. Hey, everybody. And we got new Hello, echo. everybody. And I don't know where from they we get it. I guess it's from Gene. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy. Brian. Brian, I'll mute you. Maybe it will help. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, Echo, That's it. The Brian, it Echo Brian. was from Brian. Okay, there's a quick question. Um, yes. Is there a YouTube link up somewhere? Yeah, it's on our website, uh, humancolony.org. Uh, the announcement for the webinar, uh, Jim started the webinar, and there is a uh, YouTube window broadcasted. The link is also for the YouTube is also on the event page in the details box. If you click on links, there's a YouTube link, and you, if you highlight it, you can either copy and paste it to a new tab, or you can right-click on it, and it'll say go to, and you can go right to it, and it'll take you right to the YouTube link. All right. So the announcements. Um, any announcements uh, from any other side? Do you have anything, anything to announce? No, I don't have anything to announce at this time, except right. for the the Sedona people that are going to Sedona in February. There, a date will come out. Oh, I will be in Sedona on Christmas. So if anybody wants I to come, on Christmas. There's on a group Christmas going on in February. So if anybody wants to connect oh, to me in Sedona on Christmas Eve, uh, I'll be one, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. Now the. Okay. New Right, new forum is uh, up and running, so join it. It's uh, hucolum.ning.org. And uh, uh, we have already a wonderful collection of people there. Our best friends already joined. So we already started interesting chats, and we're structuring new forums, new structures, new groups. There is European, Australian, Spanish, and French groups there, so join that. Again, hucola, H-U-C-O-L-O dot N-I-N-G dot com. And eventually, I hope that the whole forum will move from humancolony.org to hucola dot N-I-N-G dot com because this new forum can host uh, thousands of people. So it's technically much easier. Wow. And we're just gradually moving the whole stuff over there. So this, the whole site will be alive, but I hope the forum will move there. And another announcement is today, basically, Jim, it's, uh, you know, who do we invite and what do we ask? People are anxious to go up there. I you know it's more than two and a half years, I guess. or more than, oh, It's about more than two years that, you know, we applied and we want to go there. <laughs> we want to be physically there and we want to physically contact everybody. We want to touch and remember and have proofs and uh, evidence and all that nonsense. So uh, we want to speak to our favorite Tucker, if she could yes. uh, enlighten us on the progress. And of course, we invite more um, constructive ideas. How do we make it happen? And Caroline's like also asking for uh, Cynthia to come. Yes, 
Cynthia from Sirius. Sirius. Cynthia. Yes. You mean Cynthia from Sirius? Yes. Yes. Oh. And also we would like, to, so there was an invitation to speak to some humans from human colony who go there frequently, oh, like Douglas. Douglas. And there was another gentle, uh, lady, Valerie? James Douglas. Victoria. Yes. Victoria, Victoria. Douglas, James, Victoria, and Randall are the ones that go to the colonies. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, so, uh, you know, we, we can theorize why why is, uh, there is always a problem, but I think it's uh, it's something about believing. I think it's when, when we are ready, when we are in a good state of mind collectively, when our crown chakra is open, it will happen. We need to believe. Okay. When there is a doubt, then you know the whole thing becomes blocked. Yeah, that's my. Okay. But you know, I think we are ready to start. If you have anything All right. to add to that, very good. Welcome everybody, and I would uh, welcome to this nice day here. We're having a nice warm December here in uh, Rochester, New York, so it's uh, welcome. <laughs> yes, here and we too. just uh, got a new. Uh, someone else has come into the uh, room since uh, I announced who was here. John is now here with us, so welcome, John. And uh, so now we have a we're getting a room full of people here. So Brian um, also joined today, us. Oh, very good. And um, today, yes, Takur wants to speak to everyone today, of course. But I have no idea other th than that who's going to be here. I know there has been many requests for different people, so and and um, they know who they are, so uh, they'll come if, if they have something to say. So mm -hmm. it uh, it's a beautiful day, and everybody have a wonderful time. I'm going to uh, go into a little meditation, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> and, take a nap, like at twelve o'clock. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will talk to you later. Okay, Jim. Oh, can you hear me better there? Is that better? Sound good. Jim, you have your okay, water, very good. water next. Yeah, do you have water, Jim? Yes, I have water. I have coffee, and I have good energy around me. So that's Ooh. good. All things are all, all things are good. So um, I'll see you later. <sighs> Sit up a little I am to occur. Greetings. Okay. Who are? Ah, I see. I know there is much information that you want to know from the human colonies, and therefore I have come today because I need to make some announcements. I need to let you know what is going on and why things have not moved forward as they should. The thing is, we are not sure exactly what is causing the delay and the problem. But let us tell you who, what we do know. First of all, when we were bringing people to the colony in the astral projection form, or spiritual form as you may call it, it was successful. We were able to get you in into the fourth dimension and 
you were able to learn and go to all the colonies. <clears throat> Occasionally, some <clears throat> someone would go to the planets, but that is all, all that were able to do at that time. Some people have limited memory of these experiences. There are a few that have extensive memory, but they are not. That is not common. Now we try to be to the colonies astrally and put on them the holographic projections, the light, if you will, to make it so that they could be more solid. Even though light is not seemingly solid, it is matter, and it will remember and see things. But as we begin to these hollow in the form and putting the holographic on them, it did not take about 13 to 20 percent of the holographic image would be there, and that is all. And then it would dissipate very quickly. Mm. There were a few that had very high third dimensional energy that were able to, with the full holographic intact, but that did not last very long at all also. Problem is, because some have said sabotage and that there are waves that are the problems and things of this nature, we have not found that. We have not found any sabotage whatsoever. We are thinking that if there is, it is not with our equipment and not with our uh, spacecraft or colonies. It is because there is something in each individual that has been placed there that causes them not to be able to take the holographic form. Mm -hmm. We are now finding that there was a different percentage of holographic that was able to be put on each individual. Therefore, we found that uh, each one was different. So we are wondering if it's an individual situation. Now, I know there has been also things uh, spoken about belief systems and things of this nature. It should not be a matter of belief systems as far as we're concerned. We're here in the astral. You should believe that you could be here in the holographic as well. However, it may be part of the cause for some people. We have not determined the actual cause, but it could be just in a strand of hair, a cell in the body, that something has been put there to stave off the holographic form, and therefore we are looking for this. This is like searching for a very minute, but I believe that it is important that we find it. I can answer. Sir. To Kerr, this is Brian. Yes. This is Brian. Brian, how are you? Good, good. Um, I, I, I felt that a little bit of that too. I was wondering if the pollutants in the air, like chemtrails and stuff that we take in through our nose, we mm. inhale. I was wondering the aluminum. I was wondering if into the and eventually gets into our DNA or whatever in our system, could that affect um, our memory? It could affect your memory. However, let me uh, go over something else that I did not mention. The four humans that have been coming to the colony for many years, yes. um, James, Douglas, Randall, and uh, Victoria, they were able to take the holographic body with no problem whatsoever. And they are not members of the human colony. And that makes us very suspicious of some things. However, I must repeat, we found no sabotage whatsoever. Now, the people that are new to human colony, that are in human colony, which is a newer establishment, those are the people that we find the problem with. It, they don't seem to be taking the holographic. But those that have been with us a long time can do it. Is there any other questions? Yes, we have a question from Sameda. Hello, Takur. Are we still connected? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear Zaneda? Hello. Hello, Takur. 
Is there a problem? Um, I can hear Zaneda. I... Um, we could hear her. There must be a problem with yours, and you have been cutting out the sound. But we did not. Okay, perhaps, um, Zaneda, could you speak, state your question, and perhaps someone can uh, repeat it? Um, yes. Okay. I had a very vivid dream that I think was real, that I visited the human colonies and met you with two or three other uh, beings. Is that true? Yes. When did you do this? You have, I have met you more than once. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, Habakkuk. I remember that meeting, yes. Past when you were on the colonies, because it is different than in Earth, regular Earth time. It may seem like 10 minutes, but you might have been there for a longer period of time, because time moves much more quickly in on the colonies in the astral spirit, if you want to say. I remember meeting you in a, a square, <clears throat> squarish room with just the four of us. I remember feeling the love. Uh, very, very nice. Very well. I am glad you have memories of it. Many will have memories of it, we pray. Is it working? Amanda also feels she has been at the colonies. And, and it's very strange. I don't understand it. Form. Interesting. So they cannot ask questions. Well, we can get. We are getting questions um, in the chat window, which is very bizarre. I have a question. Yes. Is there a plan B with the holographic? There's all kinds of plans with the holographic, but we must find out what is wrong with Plan A first. Plan B. There is no Plan B for holographic, but there is Plan B for ways of teaching you that might may. Uh, Translate better. <clears throat> is that is that what you mean? Sorry, I was getting a suggestion for how to fix the problem, and I didn't hear you. I said there is no plan B for the holographic because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <coughs> there is, a, however, a plan B for for getting better communications. So we will work on that as well. I can hear Jim just fine, and I can hear everyone in his room just yes. fine. Hello. But they can't hear us, can they? Jim and then Jim. Hello. We, we can hear you guys. Yes. Right, but Jim. I don't think Lighting knows. But Jim so cannot Jim hear. We're not hearing us. anybody. Us. Wendy, everybody's hearing. Everyone. Are you still taking but many Jim of us? She cannot hear us. I mean, um, Ashley? She, her question is, are you still taking people astrally, spiritually? Because on the night of... Uh, the 20th, many people were restless that night, I heard. And many people came to the colonies and were not put into, astro into holographic form, and therefore it was a restless night for many people. They were brought, but they, were not, they did not stay. And therefore it was very restless and sleepless. It seemed sleepless, but it was just restless. But yes, we are still taking some people astrally, and there are some volunteers that have asked, to come astrally, and we can use them as um, experimenting with the holographic with them. And there are many that have uh, actually volunteered to do that. And we are working with them. And actually, in the astral, we can see their spiritual blueprint, the perfect body that they would have had in the spirit before that before any changes would have happened to the body. It grows up and matures with the body in a perfect way. So therefore, you, you have something in your brains. <clears throat> Utilize this blueprint eventually and heal yourselves of many different things using this blueprint. So we are studying the blueprints of these individuals that have also lent themselves to experimentation. No harm will come with them, of course. But it is very important that we find out what is wrong. Okay. Okay. Shear has a question. Hello, Taku. How are you? I'm wondering if we should reboot the browser and see if that makes a difference. And, but that would mean disconnecting the web. Yeah. That's what I said. They can't we hear. have some responses from the side on this comment. 
somebody could chat us. We are seeing your chats, but we're not hearing anyone. Well, can someone just repeat his question? Make sure that they hear us. Yes, I can. I can. Yeah, Brian just wrote back that he's question. hearing it all fine. No. But we can't hear them. And I don't hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Can you hear me? Uh, no. They can't hear us. Uh huh. Just, just read the questions. We, don't, we can hear right. you, Wendy. We just can't. Mm -hmm. We can hear everybody. Yeah, we just can't hear us. Well, Sheer says we should drop and come <clears> back. So. If whoever's coordinating this can um, make sure we have an empty slot sure when we come back, spot. we'll pop out and pop back. Okay. Oh, Brian says do not disconnect. Do not disconnect. Okay, Brian we will not so disconnect. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How shall we proceed? Brian, can you and Wendy hear us? Yes, I can hear you guys just fine. So, can one of you just repeat the questions? Then? Yes, we'll just one, we'll just repeat. Can chat? The uh, let's see. I'm not seeing any questions that are still in my chat window. Um, no. We can I, just have those guys repeat. Yeah, we'll just repeat. Question so, just to stall while we wait for more feedback. It would appear that the screen is frozen on the large screen. Yes, that may be a Chromecast problem. I wonder. Yes. I would like to volunteer for one of them um, blueprint experimentations for healing. Is that a possibility? That I could we can we can look at your blueprint in the holo not the holographic, but in the astral. But that does not mean we can heal it in the astral. We can look at it and see what is what differences have been made to the body since it's <laughs> been born and since the blueprint is brought forth. So therefore, we could give you more of an idea and send you back home with an idea of what it is that needs improving and how to improve the blueprint. Therefore, that would be helpful to you. However, to do that, we must bring you to... Uh, we must also be able to experiment on the holographic as well. Very well. Thank you. Shear would like to repeat his question, please. Okay, I think we can hear people now. Can somebody give Hello. us a sound check? Okay, Checking. Jack, one, Max, two. perhaps. Hello? Can you hear us on this side? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Val. Yes, but we cannot hear you. Okay. What are you referring to? What you feel would be relevant for us to know and better understand. Current times, um, <coughs> things that this still would be relevant. Is it important that this is unplugged? Wireless connection to the other screen. Ira Kapwash, Tomarin, Tokar, Diritipo. They will give you assistance if they can. Relevant subjects at this time are, are numerous, actually. You are facing a world of random violence, and this is a frightening thing to experience. Random violence on your planet has increased by about 80%. It is going to continue to increase. However, we will try to keep some of the major players, i.e., that means the people that are going to be helpful with the ascension out of harm's way. Thank you for that. It will not be possible for us to save all because, of course, we cannot know everything and when all things are going to happen. We do not get those kinds of communications, and we do not know when things will uh, happen.
because it is rare that they send communications long distance at this point, except to report that they have already done the deed. Now, it's all local communications, and it's all local in its genesis. So therefore, it's very difficult for us to handle. We must warn you, though, it will happen in small cities as well as large. And right now, so this is another area that you must be aware of, forgiveness. You must have a forgiving spirit about all these things, no matter how horrendous they are. You must love all individuals equally. You must have unconditional love, even for those with great hate, because otherwise you become part of the problem. You see, whenever there is an ascension problem, you must therefore look on each other with unconditional love and not judge. Judgment is so common on your planet. You give each other judgment every day, telling them negative things and bringing negative subjects up. But you must fill your life with as much positivity as possible. Therefore, you must forgive. If you are feeling judgment, if you are feeling anger and hatred over these different things that are happening, you must be able to let it go so that you can bring yourself into a positive alignment with the ascension again. Because others will be bringing you up through, their, through your connections through the souls, of course. But if, if you remain low, it becomes difficult for them to lift you out. And you may have to drop out in order for the ascension to continue because they can only drag you so far so please be aware that forgiveness at this time is a great necessity cleansing of your spirit is a great necessity unconditional love I know that many of you find third dimension very difficult third dimension is harsh solid and sometimes unfair many times unfair and therefore, you, you have attitudes that reflect this. But you must be aware. The biggest secret that the human mind could not conceive is that when you remain positive, your world positively rises. If you remain negative, your world negatively falls apart. If you are negative about certain things and have doubts and fears about things those are the things that will fail those are the things that usually go downhill if you bring a positive turn to it if you bring a positive outlook to it and remain positive not for just a day or a week but if you remain in a positive state your positivity will increase your cycle will, in, when it goes around, it will encourage more positivity. You realize that everything runs in cycles. Even moons, stars, and everything that you have in the universe is built into a spherical system. Seasons on your planet are also like a circuit they go into a circle and so you have a spiritual cycle as well put as much positivity into your spiritual cycle as you can and then when it comes back around it will be uh, more spiritual and more positive if you put a lot of negativity into your cycle it will turn up again and again and again many people have experienced the positivity of the the new cycles that they have built for themselves. If you remember that Chikani speaks about create your nows in a positive way, you realize this now is connected to every now going forward and coming around. The Chikani are able to access all their nows, but we are not able to do that and neither are you. So they have something that knowledge that we do not have, but they do send the the awareness of this knowledge to us and that we can improve our lives by 
bringing our circle, our circuit of positivity into existence and eliminating as much negativity as possible. This is the only way that the earth will ever come to a, a peaceful resolution. And you will come to a peaceful re re resolution within yourself. Peace within yourself is much more important than peace within the world at this time. Why? Because peace within yourself is the beginning of peace within the world. You cannot have peace in the world if you do not have peace within yourself. So the more of you that come to peace with yourself, the greater the essence and the greater the positivity will be in the world. I want to thank you so much for that. That's so important. I want to also say, at least for myself, is to remember that these, like even Paris, these are false flags, these are crisis actors, even the shootings here, and not to buy into the media. How to help people understand that I is beyond me, even how they are able to do this, but to know that this is simply staged and let, that people aren't dying. Let me tell you this. There is a great need for some people to be aware of all the negativity that is happening in the world. But that does not mean that they must buy into it or be part of it. They, if they want to be aware of it only because they want to know or fit it into the puzzle that is your existence, is, is your timeline, then you must be able to look at it objectively and know that it is not part of who you are, not part of your life style necessarily, and not part of the world that you made for yourself, but something outside of that. And you must still remember that forgiveness is key here. Can you forgive all the things that are happening? Can you forgive those that have caused such injustice? Can you forgive those that are full of hate? Can you forgive those that care not about the human condition? It is all about who you are and what qualities you bring to your own life that are, is important. It is important for you to know that you control the things of your life and you cannot control all things. However, if you realize that positivity is part of your life, it can help you control your particular world, create your particular existence, and create your particular prosperity or whatever it is that you need and desire. Giving thanks for those things that you do not have yet is very important because if you need something, you must reach out beyond your present day and give thanks for it so that it may come to you. Open yourself up for the good things to come to you. Do not just stay in the present state, but pray for the things of the future to come to you in a positive way. Now, some people give up on these ideas and desires very quickly. They do not last very long. It does not work, so they give up in two weeks or three weeks or a month. It sometimes takes longer. Why? Because your belief system is not in contrast with the with the thankfulness that you're giving. Your We're locked up over here. Still hear you. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, yeah but I think he's yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, locked they're up. just gonna be shut down. Yeah, I think they're gonna need to come back in. Yeah, yeah, I think they need a reboot. Everybody leave a space, please. I think mm -hmm. we're all going to have to leave if they leave, aren't we? And then rejoin? No. Okay. We just have to keep one space open. Well, it'll still continue live, right? Uh, Max, you got the live, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still live. Sometimes it takes a minute after you drop out for it to oh, it disappear. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's right. Isn't that funny right there? Oh. 
stupid and knock us off. Oh, shh. No. <sighs> Say so. what you do, one. How are you don't? <laughs> That's the Shikani in me. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to bring awareness. <laughs> well, let's do something positive. What can we do something? Yes. How about sing, some galactic could, languages? I was just going to say that. We, we could yeah. sing. Don't you dare sing Row Row Your Boat. <laughs> we could sing a song. Let's do some. Let's do some. All right, all right. No, no mm -hmm. singing Row 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 Your Boat. All right, we'll fly there, and I will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you. I heard that. Roxy <laughs> <laughs> doesn't leave Texas often, but she will leave for that. <laughs> but, but I'll leave for this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you, baby. Something positive. <clears throat> Keep going. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's create a word. Everybody says one word, but it's going to be from, well, whatever, channeling, or just one word that feels good in any language. Positive, of course. So I start with. And then we would, of course, explain what it means after we said it. So I will come up with one first. Um, tura. Tura. And it means to me gratitude to you. Beautiful. Mike, what the base is under attack by pirates? And if you disable weapons, you can track that. I could talk all day in galactic languages, so <laughs> somebody else better go. I like to. Tura was nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. Tura. Let's go by I love you in any languages. Say agapo. After I've seen in Linica. That was Greek for I love you. Say agapo. I know. I'm gonna go Liran. You hua aini iwa. She adore no cotuati, the Anamisi Kieti Ata. O Shotunua, the Aturua Hiata. Idio Cotono, so a cadi, she lay a tani, a coralu, so tani a sea kitty kia lay, and an ania cadawa. Hot Unua Shaha. She leoko no, so yeti kili tenani yeleoko sto to nua ta shi eki tiata hiki shi atati iliotoa. Shantoru uwa hata sutukun tiara yaha ti ti kaha utoha. Mashotoya unko ya sa inta kaya ama aliota. Tori Akua, one century what? Antikua. It is. It is. We're back and we can hear you again. All right. Woo -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I will take questions now. Okay, Sheer. Hello, Taku. How are you? Very well, Sheer. How are you? I am great. Um, I want to ask you, I know that uh, there are a couple of species that are listening to my phone, and sometimes <laughs> I hear weird um, noises and sounds, and sometimes they would just hang out to my phone if I speak about them or something. Um, can you tap to my phone? Like, I, can, I can tell you what is going on. It is not necessarily other species, but your government. You are a government figure. You have written to the governments. You have spoken to them. And therefore, they want to know your agenda. And therefore, your phones will 
have some interference, not that they are completely tapped, but there are certain times a day when they perceive certain calls to certain people that they would want to listen to. I see. And also, I know that um, there was assistance that was sent to you by Remulac. They feel there was assistance by Remulac and Amok as well. Yeah, they feel that uh, maybe some someone sent you a binary code to steal information from your communi communication systems. They were just uh, wondering about that. The binary code has been encrypted, so it's not been compromised. I see. Um, anyway, a couple of days ago I was chanting, I think it was a group of angels, because they speak through me in a light language, I believe. I'm just wondering if you know who they were, because... That was not the Elohim, but it was... Ah, in the best part. <laughs> it's just a bill of uh, We just lost him. They I dropped think, again, right? didn't they? Yeah, it was, yeah. and then he's gone. It was, it was a suspenseful moment. Slava. Slava, welcome. Speaking of gratitude, I'd like everyone to say thank you to Slava <laughs> for all the wonderful, fabulous work he does on Human Colony website. I'm so glad you're here today for all of us to thank you together. Thank you, Slava. Thank you, Slava. Thank you, Slava. You, the site would not be what it is without you. Thank you. Makoto Yashania. Does anybody want to speak any languages or say anything? Sure, sure. I don't want Do we still have a place for Jim? Yeah. yeah. No, we don't. Jim, now. I'll drop out. I'll drop out. Oh, I was going to say, is there a spot? Okay. No. I didn't even count. Go ahead, Roxy. No, I was just saying thank you to Karen oh. <laughs> for dropping it. Does any if everybody could put their energy towards um Jim's Yes, that is true. Oh, is he back? Okay. Hello, Tikur. Hello. Hello, Tikur. Let's keep our energy on the open channel for uh, Jim. He's back. I know. I just want to keep it that way. <laughs> Problems you are having today. Okay. Everything's looking good now. Uh, if we could get uh, another question, perhaps, or resume mm -hmm. though we were cut off. If we're not finished, I don't remember. Uh, Tiko, can I just, you just drop out when you told me who did I channel? It was a group of angels from the third realm. Ah, they said they were angels. I see. Um, Gahil was, was one of them. Gahil. Really? <laughs> Is not from the Nine Realm, something like that? I do not know all their names, except Gahil has stepped forward to say that he was there. Ah, okay. 
Well, thank you very, very much. I will drop to leave some space, and thank you for everything that you do. You are welcome. Thank you for all that you do as well. You're welcome. Hello, it's Perry. Okay, Stephen. Thank you. Stephen. Hello. This Stephen. Yes. Much love, Okun Chatita. Karoto An. Thank you. I was wondering uh, if you have uh, um, any uh, uh, any uh, information about the re last time I went to the colonies uh, holographically and any messages from any of my kids. Uh, thank you. You did not go holographically. Um, you went astrally. We tried to do the holographic, but it did not work. Um, the holographic has not worked yet on anybody but about three or, well, actually, ten people made it in that had third dimensional energies that were very high, but they did not stay long because it dissipated from them. Your children, on the other hand, are doing very well. They are very happy, and one of them is very en mathematically inclined. I will speak to you about that some other time. Thank you, Tucker. Much love. Pass my. Christy? Hello, Tucker. This is Christy. Hello, Christy. Um, yes, I was wondering, I, I had a question about um, my infusions. And yes. Um, have I had any? I'm new to Hukalo, and uh, it's been a couple months since I signed up. And I was just wondering uh, sort of kind of where I'm at with that. You have not received any infusions yet that I am aware of, but you did ask for some. We would like to know what you would prefer. Okay. Um, can I think about that, which one, and then just... Yes. You see, we know that you do not know which one that you would prefer, so instead of giving you something random, we would like to ask your permission to use whichever one first that you would like to have. Okay. Is there one that you can uh, recommend for me first to help me decide or direct my... My first thought was Fendorian because I believe that you need a brightening of your chakras and a, and a brighter feeling in the body. Yes, that is true. And also it will help with clarity of mind. It will increase the IQ a couple points and give you a greater communication stance. And also, I think you need those as well right now. That is true. Okay, that sounds that would be that would be the my choice then. Very well. It will start Kirakawashiki Miniakawaranda. They will start that next week, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Thank you so much, and it's so good to meet you. Namaste. Good to meet you as well. Namaste. No harm. Greetings, greetings, uh, Tukur. This is Noha. How are Noha, you doing? Noha, how are you? And how's everybody? Uh, my question regarding the colony: Have I been taken holography, holographically? No, no one has made it through holographically as of yet, and they are not oh. sure what the problem is. So we are looking for answers, and right now, sabotage is not one of the answers because we cannot find any. Yes. Second question, please. Any messages for me regarding my upgrade and ascension and opening up into channeling, up things like that? Your upgrade is working very well. Your channeling is coming along. Even though you do not feel it or understand it, the passages of your channeling are there. You, it is your belief system that is holding you back a little bit. You have no one to channel with, and therefore you are... Uh, doubting if channeling is something that is recommended at this time. It will come a time there will be there that need the words from outside your personal. Hello. I think we have lost them again. No, 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 it's cutting, it's cutting. Just repeat the last part, please. Yep, I, we can hear you. Oh, very well. Did you hear me? 
No, 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 it's cutting off. That's why. I think it's cutting off. Well, the time will come when it is necessary for you to channel, and that's when you will. Okay, then my mind is uh, open about it. I understand this concept now, so I'm trying to get out of my mind, you know. I'm not trying. I am. <laughs> I want to say that word. Yes. Correct. Thank you very much and much love. I love you so much. Much love to you, Noha. Thank you. Okay, we had a question from Slava. Not yes. To drop, but I'm still going to read the question. Yes. Okay, he says, hello to Kerr. Hello. Could you please share any updates about my hybrid children? I wonder when my hybrid daughter was born and what hybrid she will be. Thank you. I will speak to him on that on a personal level. I will get in contact with him in a personal level. But his daughter, Anna, is doing very, very well. And she continues to grow. She is interested in the video uh, all sorts of movies, videos, and holographic projections that give great understanding and teach many things. She is much like her father. To Thank rock you. off. Thank you. Brian? Greetings, Sakur. Wonderful day. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, I am honored to speak with you today. I, we have a beautiful celebration on Earth coming up with solstice on both yes. northern and hem northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. We are in this wonderful pattern in synchronicity with the solstice. And I was wondering, in your star system where you're at right now, what type of synchronicity patterns of celebration take place? First of all, it starts with the very birth of each individual. Our, what do you call it, zodiac or whatever, your readings that come from these kinds of astral things, are, it's totally different. It starts from the moment you come out of the birth canal and the sky is measured during your birth and that becomes your astrological pattern. And it is analyzed and gives you much understanding of uh, what your life will be like. It does not predict everything. It cannot because there's too many things that are optional, shall we say. But it is part of the who you are and how you feel because the stars do affect who you are and when you are born the sky is measured at this point and that becomes your astrological space. Now with different solstices on our different planets it is important that we align properly because it does affect body, water or chemicals in the system and therefore they, it is celebrated as a time when change is most likely to come, when things are most uh, adequate for positivity. Does that give you some idea? It does. Thank you very much for sharing that. You are welcome. Mm -hmm. Sarah? Sarah, are you yes. there? I'm here. Thank you. Hello, Tucker. Greetings. Greetings. Um, I had a couple questions about my um, DNA infusions, and recently I've been feeling as if my chakras have been on fire, like burning. Like yes. Fever. There is much energy with you, Sarah. You have many different talents and things happening in your body. You have, you're part half whore, and so therefore the chakras that burn are not surprising. Also, your toning is changing slightly and will become more energetic and more powerful. Your chakras have been infused from the half whore race, and therefore you will know this. You, have you just received Fendorian? Yes. 
That is what I thought. It will open all the chakras very brightly, but yours will open slightly differently with the half or that's in your system. Okay, because the Fendorian some time ago said that uh, my Kundalini will awaken, and I don't it think did, said yes. that. Oh, it did already. And that's why your chakras are burning. That is the part of the Kundalini. Ah. Okay. Thank you very much for that. You're um, welcome. And is there anything anyone wants to let me know at the moment? Like any being? I missed it, didn't I? Travel is coming in your future again. Um, I believe that you are uh, preparing yourself at this time. After these things uh, calm down, there will be more uh, awareness for you and more travel. Okay. Thank you very much for that. I love you. I love you Zaneda? as well. Zaneda, did you have a question? Yes, hello. Hello, Takar, how are you? Very good, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Good. Um, have I been uh, holographically? That's what I felt the next day when... Okay, The holographic did not work for most people, but you were there astrally, and we did try to put the holographic on you. Now, it did fail, but you reached about 20%, which is higher than some of the others uh, reached in the holographic projection. So maybe you do feel that you were in some sort of a holographic form, but it only reached 20% and then dissipated. We are working on a solution at this time. Um. Because but I you were felt aware that you were there. You were one of the few that actually did uh, come into the colonies even without the holographic on there. You decided not to go back home but to go into the colonies. So that's what you remember. Yes. Oh, that's mean the city that I've been there, it was a little bit holographically. But the one that came like... Um, a uh, door, sliding door, and it was fuchsia lilac color. It just came, I was just laying down, not sleeping, nothing. It just came like a door sliding above me. And it was so beautiful energy. Yes. And I just, like, hop, I just disconnect. And I saw myself like a huge, big, like 10, 12 feet bed. And I was on that bed. There was the two children. I asked them to get off because I was just laying, you know, just uh, fixing the bed. And then my cat jumped in. And I got excited. And then someone from my back said, he's your son. And when I turned, I saw a um, very uh, handsome Liran, which appearance was like a white leopard or white jaguar. And the ice was bluish, tint of greenish. And yes. I put my head on, I don't know, it's, I think it's he, on his shoulder. And I felt physically his body and the hair, everything. Yes. Who was he? <laughs> he was your son. But it it is during the exchange of... Uh, the names that was a ceremony that you were at actually so it was an ex it was an exchange of the Lyran name for the human name uh, you may not even be aware of it but you were there at the cer ceremony that he accepted you as his mother because he is now aware of all different things that are happened these ceremonies happen frequently because there are a lot of children being born in the high, in being hybridized and born on era and on the ships and on several other planets so yes that was a ceremony that you were at and it is customary that you embrace um, and the next question is on July um, my third eye opened and I saw like more like physically Liran sitting on a beautiful chair like um, Renaissance style 
but I felt like background was uh, uh, like he's in an underground arch. Uh -uh. And I saw every detail of him, the fur, the, there is no nothing on him, just, just I saw his fur, the colors, everything. And then he showed to me his hand and then the, the fingers, I had four fingers and he pointed middle finger to me, it's like up to, and I did not understood that. It makes me like the middle uh, finger is the attunement figure finger for Reiki. Re he was telling you about his energy systems. But do you know that being? Who's that? That was Kalakashruta. Wow. Thank you very much, Sister Liren. Thank you. Yes. I'll see you above. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Yes. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Do you need a drink or anything yet, Max? Or I mean, Jim? I am fine. Okay. And Carolina, you are next. Um, my name is Louis. Much love, much love to Ka. How are you? Who is speaking? Carolina. Carolina, hello. Um, how are you? I'm well. Taka, I wanted I wanted to ask you a question. Um, do I have a download? You have asked for a download. Yes. You have asked for a download, and one is been given, but it is not open yet. I don't think not completely. Can you tell me what it is? I cannot tell you at this time because I was not part of that team that did this download for you. However, I believe there is an alien language in it. Oh, right. Oh, brilliant. Um, also, um, you told me my Pleiadian sister's name. Can you repeat that name for me because I've lost it? <laughs> we will talk about that later. Okay, okay, I see. And um, finally, um, I'm, I'm trying to practice my telepathy um, and I was wondering if you could send me images um, so I can so I can practice please yes there will be some things happening with many people we uh, send some telepathic readings for some to learn and for some to experience and many have picked them up and tell us about that when they have readings or whatever and they have received many of these different telepathic messages oh thank you well um I, I, I'm just beginning to practice so I'm not sure I, I don't think I'm very good at it but I'd love to receive more images please do not be negative on yourself you are just okay. reach out for the positive aspects of it because you will receive a positive confirmation on these things in in the time that is necessary practice is necessary for you to be able to find the place in your brain to receive the messages and to interpret them oh brilliant oh thank you so much I love you <laughs> I love you as well okay thank you you're welcome okay Ash are you ready yes Hey, Tucker, it's Ash. Hello, Ash. How are you? Woo-ha. I'm good. Woo-ha. Um, I had a question. If you could confirm, I believe I'm receiving a Draco infusion, um, but I'm not sure. A Draconian infusion is possible, but unlikely. But let me check. Okay, thank you. Kori apasha. Tienda kahwa. Information is that you are indeed receiving an infusion, a very small one from draconian species. Be very careful with that. There is a period of time when you go through the draconian adolescence where your brain will become very fuzzy and you will not be able to... Uh, work as efficiently as necessary so that period can last from anywhere from three months to a year so 
be very careful to only take a very small amount of the draconian infusion. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, because it, it has drained uh, a lot of my energy, but I'm yes. hopeful Draconian that is a reptilian, well, draconian, reptilian, uh, those creatures of that nature, the dragon uh, species, can be very harmful to the human body if the, too much is given. Very, only ask for a very small infusion because it can be very difficult. Yes, you feel the draining already of the, the draconian infusion? Yes, uh, but I'm hoping that it will balance me, that it will have positive effects You know, once it's done. There will be positive effects after the adolescence. Okay. It will take some time. You see, no matter when you get the draconian, what age you get it, you, you have to go through the draconian adolescence, which causes a, a brain fuzziness and lack of clarity. And so that is why I, I caution about it, because I had seen one person from the Netherlands who went through an entire year of this and lost his job because he could not concentrate and he had because he had a reptilian infusion but it was a greater percentage it was like eight percent and it was much too much for him okay so do you recommend it for me a very you you've already gotten some of it it cannot be taken away. So therefore, I would cease to have any more put in. Okay. Awesome. You will reap the benefits of it eventually. A higher IQ and greater clarity after the adolescence. However, going through the adolescent period can be very, very hard on humans. Yes. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. That was pretty much it. Very Much well. love to Kerr. Thank you. Okay. Much love to you as well. Thank you, Max. Diaka. Mm -hmm. Max. Hello to hello to Kerr. This is Wendy. Wendy. Um Kirewa'a. I just wanted to I've been feeling some um well first of all, can you tell me a little um ha, ha, about the the completion of my Shikani infusion um, is it completed? And if so, can you tell me anything about it? And yes, it is completed and activated. You should be experiencing some even greater excitement than you usually do. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. Um, that's why I, I um, want to ask you about it because I feel like I've been connecting with um, uh, the Oversouls, and I feel like I've been connecting with Eclipse um, a lot through, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Epsilon through the Moonlight, and I was wondering if you might oh, yes. elaborate with that for me. Yes, you have been connecting to a greater and higher source than usual, and it's bringing you greater excitement. The Chakani also raises your IQ exponentially, which means that it, each person it's different. But for you, I believe that you are experiencing about a three-point IQ increase. Also, much more clarity of what you're doing, how to think about things, and how to bring energy into your life. You are also experiencing a spiritual uplift. Is this not so? Yes, very much so, um, especially since um, the Arturian and the Shikani infusions. Um, and I've been feeling... Is... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, continue. I was, and I've also been feeling. Um, I don't know if I asked intentionally or not, but I've been feeling some Fendorian as well. Yes, there is a small amount of Fendorian added. This will ignite the Kundalini and bring brighten the chakras. As as the one other was saying, it. I believe it was Sarah. Her chakras were bur burning because of the half whore that was in her. But it does brighten all the, the chakras and especially opens the third crown much more open. It also awakens sexual thoughts and appetites and physical um, heart emotions, etc. Appetites of the food as well. 
Yes, all of the above. I, I've been experiencing all of that, um, and I feel like. I feel like I don't know if I'm getting new languages or maybe just a more clarity on them. Um, they, actually, you're, you're on some of your languages. There's one new one coming. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, well, is there any other is there any other any other information you can give me any messages for me right now? Um, I also feel like I've been remembering a lot more about being on the colonies too, um, in my yes. dream states and a lot of astral travel in general. Um, yes, that is because you have grounded yourself better these days. Your 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 husband has helped you to ground better. Yes, he has. Um, he has been a, a key to your moving forward. It, <laughs> at this point. Yes, that's true. That's he is giving you a great permission slip to be all that you can be. Yes, yes, he is. Thank you very much. Um, uh, and if there, so if there's any other information um, you could give for me and uh, that would be beneficial. I had another question, but I've lost it in my yes. head, so apparently it's not important. Um, and, yes. Did you hear me? I didn't. You broke up. I'm sorry. I just said continue to grow in the way that you are growing. Let your energy move out from you. People feel your energy very clearly when they're around you. They become part of the energy field that is you. And therefore, you uh, bring people up. No one can stay very low when they're around you. <laughs> well, thank they you. Eventually... Um, can you tell me anything about my Yael son? Not at this time. Okay. I understand. Um, and tomorrow, I was just wondering before I let you go, if you could comment, tomorrow is going to be a global meditation on uh, the, the our earth date is 12 12 um, and there's going to be a global meditation going on tomorrow um, all at the same time and I was wondering if maybe you could comment on it because they're going to I guess they're going to be scientifically measuring the energy changes in the human collective consciousness um, in the hour during this meditation and I was just wondering if you could comment on it at all there will be a great amount of energy that will increase at this time. It will be able to be measured and it will be quite an interesting phenomena for those who are measuring it. You, they will also be, uh, many will perceive spirits and many will perceive other things around them that they will not be, able, will not be able to experience any other time. Okay, I, I'm planning on doing a live event tomorrow um, for the meditation time. So um, tomorrow is not twelve. Tomorrow is not twelve twelve. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yes, on twelve twelve. Excuse me, my apologies. Yes. Yes, tomorrow is, t I believe, twelve six on your planet. Yes, you are correct. So therefore, yes, in anticipation for this energy flux, there will be very much psychic energy in the, on that day. Many people will be able to see things and feel things and understand things that they wouldn't normally be able to perceive otherwise because the, the density of the fourth dimensional energy will be high. Also, psychic energy will be released. Very good. Thank you, Tukur. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian? Brian. Hello, my friend. I, Hello, I hear, how are I hear, you? Great. I, I hear you off and on in, in my mind. And then, yes. I, 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 can, I just wanted to confirm that with you. Yes. I do speak to many humans often. It is one of the things that I have started to do within the last few months. Yes. And now I am speaking to people on a daily basis. But there are a few that can hear me. Yes, yes I do too. I, I wanted to thank you. Um, it helps gr ground me. 
So thank you very much, my friend. You are welcome. I appreciate your feedback. Much love. Much love to Kurt. Much Katyum. Love. Katyum. Good work. Okay, Lois? Hello? Hello. Oh, good day. My name is Louis, and I'm Hello. very new. And thank you for welcoming me to, um, to the human colony. There is a buzzing coming from your area. Yes, we're having a hard time hearing you. You could have watched. <laughs> okay, is, is that better? There you go. Okay, and my question is in regards to receiving off-planet DNA. Yes. Um, parts of the question was answered in earlier discussion, and yes. I wanted to know the effects uh, from a spiritual, health, and mental, and if there is a also a curve of time of where one may feel discomfort in receiving DNA, and which also which species? Uh, the last one sounds. Um, some very intriguing, but um, yes. is there one that wants to start off first, or do their own vibration? It depends on the individual, to? and there should be mm -hmm. no discomfort in receiving any DNA. Mm -hmm. um, it would appear to me that you are needing some grounding. You feel some disconnect from the third dimension, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, a bit, yes. Yes, so therefore I would... Uh, I would send some Lirin first for some grounding and for some body tone and for some confidence and things of this nature. Would that be it, something that you might want? Uh, yes. The Lirin will also help hair growth if that is necessary for you. <laughs> okay. Well, I do shave intentionally, but that's, that sounds good. Okay. We can remove it if you like, that <laughs> particular quality. <laughs> that would be fine. Will be and fine. also I see that it will cause greater communications and mental clarity. I would like to start you with that. Yeah, the clarity and creativity is my main. Yes, you do have much creativity in your world on third dimension, and I would like to increase it. Some of it you're not even aware of yet. Okay. Well, that sounds good. This is my first one. I cannot hear you at this point. There is a buzzing sound. Yes, yes that's a really loud buzzing sound. Thank you, Lois, and thank you for your thank participation. You, Lewis. I You're hope welcome. that I will speak to you again. Yes, it'll be fine. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Neil, are you ready? Yeah, hello, Tukar, this is Neil. Hello, Neil. Hello, How are you? Young kid. Um, yeah, first thing I want to uh, talk about is I found a, I found an um, implant in my right knee. Yes. So if, you could, uh, if you could check that implant and, uh, and remove, could you remove it for me, please? Exactly. Yes, we will do that. Not a problem. Perfect. Thank you very much. One moment, please. Kukera washin tikapa tandaria ba dendi kushuti. They will remove it tonight. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so next is uh, my infusions. So yeah, my Fendorian infusion is finished now. So I'd like to take the next one, and the next one I want is uh, Elohim, if it's available. We will have to send out for Elohim because they have to approve you. It yeah. will be a three or four day period that they watch your actions and your motives and then the and what all the things you say and then they will either agree or disagree to send us that kind of DNA. But I do not see a problem. Yeah. <coughs> I'll be on my best behavior. Very well. <laughs> okay, is there, a, is there any message you want to give me? Uh I just want to thank you for staying positive and that there are much things for you to do in the future. Keep a clear head. Yes. Okay, thank you for that, Tika. Okay, much love to you. <clears throat> much love to you, Neil. 
Angela. Yes. Um, my question is, um, when you were talking about the holographic and only so much percent gets on the person, what is your goal? What percent, how high did you want the percent to go? 100. Thank you very much. In order for you to experience it the way that we would like you to, 100% of holographic would be involved. That means attaching to all parts of the body and all parts of the astral, the astral body, we should say. And therefore, it would give you greater clarity and sensation. Okay. Thank you. Did everyone hear the question? I think we're okay. Have we lost communication again? No, we're here. Very well. I'm glad. Okay, Michelle? Good morning, Chakur. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Much love. Um, I am well, thank you. Um, I've had an interesting week. Um, my very close human, David, can you tap into that energy? Yes. Okay. Um, has had a couple of uh, experiences where he doesn't remember. He seems to black out. And what seems to happen is his brain is overtaken by like maybe a fractal of something else. A dark, it feels dark, and he starts either repeating almost like a robot with a software malfunctioning, repeating things in circles, um, or, and they have to do with self-hate and or starts yelling at himself with self-hate talk. And um, I asked my daughter to scan his energy and she got three strong impressions. The first was manufactured self-hate, Number two, malfunctioning DNA, and three, mantis. Are you able to speak to this and my role in it? As you told me in our Reiki class, there were some people in my life who could only be healed by myself. Is this true in this case, and to what degree should I focus my energy on this? I would have to analyze the information a little more. However, what I see from the first part is that it is a negative energy, and that it is something that he has brought on himself. He has brought this to him for a particular purpose. Now, I do not know what that purpose is. I mm -hmm. do not know. The mantis portion does not seem quite right to me, but it is insectoid. It may mm -hmm. not be mantis, but yeah. it might be insectoid. I could be mistaken. So I am thinking that uh, the mantis portion is not correct. Okay. But everything else seems to be correct. Right. But I would have do to... I have a role in this, i.e., like... Yes, you do. Okay. But it will have to be explained to you after I discover all the things that are happening. Okay, so should we have a private session with you? We should probably talk, yes. Okay. Um, my second, would you be the most appropriate person with whom to have this conversation? It would be either myself or Grindel. Okay, thank you. Also, I would like to know if you have any messages for me to help me grow and remember who I am. Yes. Um, okay, thank you. Sometimes you feel bombarded. Remember to you put your shields up about uh, some emotional issues. You do feel you are a positive individual and are more positive now than you have been for a great deal of time. Keep moving in that positive way. You are being very helpful to those around you and will continue to be helpful to those around you. But you must stay focused and grounded. You are very intelligent when it comes to making wise decisions at this time. I do not see that in the past. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, the other the last question I have, uh, do you think it is appropriate in your estimation that I engage in any other DNA? It could be very beneficial for you. But let what d DNA that has come to you uh, can, uh, 
completely absorb Settled. into okay. your system. Yes. Okay. Because I think you're still going through some changes with it. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you. Have a great day. I love you day. as well. Bye. Okay. Dakar, does Jim need a drink? I do not know. Can we ask Jim? He's fine. Okay. Great. All right. Johannes, you're next. Hello, Dakar. Hello, Johannes. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. Um, first question, can I request uh, Lirin and Fendorian DNA infusion? Not at the same time, but yes, they will come one right after the other. The Lirin will be first, I would assume. One moment, and I will check with those that are around me that do the infusions and see if you are qualified for both of those. I will get an answer in a moment. Okay. So I will ask another question. <laughs> it's like a funny question to me. Uh, it's like when you watch with your eyes, like normally you watch something and then in the corner of your eye it looks like a hair, you know? Yeah. It's not really like a hair, but it's like you, <laughs> you believe it to be something on your eye. What is that? Can you expand on that? There are some specks on the eye. I do not believe that that has anything to do with alien information. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know that it, this was about alien information today. I'm sorry. Um, oh. and, One moment. Uh, yeah. They are saying that you are eligible for Lirin and Fendorian, but one at a time. Continue. If I have any chips that I'm unaware of, do I have any chips? You mean um, implants? Yeah, Let implants. Let me check. At this time, you do not. But yet, there is someone that wanted to give you an implant, but they were not able to. You rejected it. And who was that? That was the insectoids. Okay. Uh, I think that was all. I don't know. Is there any other messages to me that wants to come through? Or if you have anything for me? Not at this time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Love you. I love you as well. Okay. Chukua. Liney, are you next? Liney. Um, Liney is not part of this call, but she left her uh, question. She wants to ask if she can have Fendorian infusion. Well, what infusion? I did not hear. Fendorian. Yes, she may. Yes. Thank you. And um, I believe Gabe is after her. And he wanted to ask about, he had a dream where he died. He, he has a question about what did that mean or what was that? Gabriel. Gabriel had a question about a dream where he had died in the dream? No, no, you specifically took her. Oh, that I had died in the dream? Yes. This is because he has not had much communications with me recently. I have sent messages, but he has been disconnected. The third dimension has been very strong with him right now, and he feels like there is a disconnect, and that is in one way saying that, uh, that it, there was a death. However, I have not died, and I will not die, and we will reconnect at some future date, and it will not be long from now. Very good. I'm sure he'll be very happy about that answer. Thank you. Sean, you're next. Hello, Takur. Hello. Um, I was just going to ask if you had a suggestion for um, infusion for me as well something that would benefit me right now. Markia, Ashanti, they would have to scan you. We are, I do not think they've scanned you before. One moment. Okay. Tessiko, Pashita Lawanda. It will take a few moments. I will get back to you in a minute. Okay. Is there any other questions at this time? Yeah. 
I have a question from Slava. Yes. I think we asked it. Oh, we had uh, yeah. Sorry. Can I go? Yes, Sean, uh, you're next. Uh, me? Shin? Is this Sean? Yes, Shin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sean. All right. Uh, hi, Tech. No, this is Shin. Tucker. Shin. Ah, Shin. Hello. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm very well. My first, great, great. Uh, my first question is for uh, Mark from Quebec. Uh, do you have any message for him? Mark from Quebec. One moment. Yeah. I will have to get in contact with him. He's through the spirit energy. One moment. What I see is that he is needing to be a little more grounded. Um, there are some aspects of his life right now that seem out of proportion or disconnected because he needs a little grounding. Uh, tell him to do the uh, plant himself firmly in the earth. Um, bring himself to something of nature and ground himself to Mother Earth. Great, thank you very much. And my question would be. Uh, can you t tell me uh, how my DNA infusion is going? Coming? It is complete. It is complete? Like yes. my Liren infusion? And yes. Everything? Do you feel any differences? Um, I think so, but not qu uh, like... Let it completely um, establish itself within your system. You should feel a little bit of muscle tone, uh, clarity of thought, greater communication skills, and I believe they, I'm not sure about the hair, hair follicle <laughs> problem, but they, they do, that does increase hair growth. Right. Okay. And uh, my second question would be like, I'm having really like really active sleeping, uh, sleep activities. Like during my sleep state, I have so many dreams and stuff. Yes. And could you tell me, like, if I, I have been to colonies or doing something? Uh, we have tried to bring you to the col. Yes, we did try to bring you to the colonies and add the holographic. It did not work. However, you do have some memory of that because you did go in astrally anyway. But about 18% uh, holographic took on you, but that is not enough for the state that we were looking for. But you, your dream state has been very active because of many visitations, many holographic, not holographic, astral projections, and you have gone to several different places astrally. You are seeming to want to break forth and bilocate in some form, but you have not done that yet, but you are working on it. Do you have any like uh, advice for that, like to enhance more smooth? We are for that. That is a, a a matter of free will and of belief system. So we do not. I see. I see. And any message for me? Continue to move forward. Right now, you are doing a lot of very rapid growth in your thought processes. Right, right. And for my uh, galactic language, can you, like, is it possible to give me more, like, uh, translation kind of ability? That will happen, yes. First you must learn to speak it, and then the translations will come when they are necessary. You will. I see. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, and, yeah, talk to you again soon sometime. Thank you very much. Okay, thank Who you. Who had the scan? One moment. Uh, that was me, Sharon. And yes, you are able to take Bandorian first. That would be your best best thing to to take first for your DNA connection. That's lovely. I would love. I would invite um, that, please. One moment, Kiro on the Shiwata. It will start on, they're going to, 
continue to look at your scan, but it would appear that next Wednesday or Thursday it would start. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Takura. And I have one more question, if that's all right. That is fine. Um, I, I work with some babies, and um, I'm just kind of conflicted on uh, wanting to heal certain things and also letting them be who and what they are. Um, so how can I, do I just offer pleasant energy for them in what will happen, Will? Or um, if you could give me any on, advice on. I would do a intention meditation on healing with mm -hmm. yourself. I do not see that you do much meditation, but do it, uh, sit still for a while mm -hmm. and do some thankfulness and deep breathing. Do a meditation that would bring thoughts about healing to you and the healing potential in your hands is already there within the palm chakras and the fingertips also have small chakras and the wrist and mm -hmm. therefore holding the child with intention of healing is very helpful okay thank you very much you are welcome okay we have a question from the chat and is unable to connect to a microphone his name is yes. Clyde971, and he asks, Greetings. What could I improve to connect to my higher self? Right now, yes, improve your meditations. Uh, one thing about human meditations is sometimes they do not get very they do not get grounded enough and so they cannot pull enough energy down from higher realms so if you ground yourself in the third into the third dimension which you were born into this means to bring in as much density as possible to start with because that is where you are born from also connect your heart and third eye with your soul and create the power triangle there and then you can actually start to meditate intentionally about bringing in the higher self and the spirit guides there is much more instruction that was very simply that was a very simple outline of what I believe will help for you Thank you. Your he just wanted to know if you had any messages for him. What was the name? Clyde971. Yeah. Yes. This is the beginning of something for you. There is something starting in your life. I'm not sure what it is. But it is a time of spiritual growth as well. And I believe that you are searching diligently or or rather diligently, for some answers to some questions that is about your personal self and about your life. You want to know some things about yourself that will let you know where you're going to be in the future. So continue. There's, there's a rather a lot of energy around you that is conflicting. So it makes it hard to read. Does he agree that that is what is happening. I'm having trouble connecting. Yes, he says yes. Thank you so much, Takur. Very much. Thank you. Okay, Barbara, are you ready? Hello, Takur. Yes, how are you? I am very well, thank you. Um, my question is, um, have my DNA infusions started and from which species? One moment. Kirawakashandi. Those things are not right in front of me anymore. They have changed the panels and locations of information to make it more efficient. One moment. Kijukwa. You have started some Pleiadian. Very good. Um, uh, when will it be activated? It will be activated starting tomorrow, actually. Oh, super. Okay. It will take about five days. They will do a slow activation on you, but it, it is already infused. Okay. Um, and uh, how can I learn these galactic languages? They are from downloads. 
we would have to send you a download and if that is what you would like I will suggest it to them yes I would yes and any messages for me just continue to move forward right now you haven't even begun to start your journey yet there you may feel like you have but there are some very exciting things coming for you Ooh, I can feel it already I'm getting chills very well all right thank you loads of love namaste namaste okay Slava had a question yeah. and yes. wants to speak to you but can't speak personally Did very well you want later to talk is that what you were saying before I will speak to him later yes okay thank you okay then we have Sarah hello again to her hello um okay I feel like there is a vein or something trying to connect with me at the moment one moment and I will check with you Dikurawa. there is are you not allowing the connection? I I allow the many connections. I just new names and concepts come to my mind all the time. This is a very high spiritual being and he may not be able to connect with you on the same plane that you are on right now. So therefore, I would suggest he try to connect. It is a it is a he try to connect with you during a meditation period you will have much more success is he like a physical being or like a spiritual he is fifth dimensional fifth dimensional yes his name is you his name is Quack. okay I'm gonna need to repeat because I didn't hear that I'm sorry Quack. Okay, thank you. Because I was going to ask another question, but then this started flaring up. Very well. It might be that he is influencing that questioning or that period of time. Very good. And I wanted to ask um, I've been kind of seeing, I think I'm seeing like energy in the air, but I'm not seeing any colors. It's more like air drifts, I think. That is all right. It is for you to experience many things. You are not like the average human with the Hawthorne being in you. So therefore, it, you will experience some of the things that they experience because now you have a, a, a higher self or a spirit guide, I believe, that is Hathor. Yes, yes. And so you will be interdimensional at some period in your life, which is very unusual. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, Sharon has another question. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Valerie. Um, yes, I was just going to ask for my mother sitting here next to me. Um, it's regarding like emotions, and uh, she's been explaining that she's having difficulty feeling like they're they're just kind of trapped and it's been like years and she feels like she can't express them or get them out I understand this is a human condition and <laughs> I, I understand it completely I want mm -hmm. you to connect with her physically hand in hand and uh, bring that some of that energy into yourself and let it go out to Mother Earth through the other hand. But you will have to have a, a, a time when you can connect spiritually and emotionally and even uh, bring in the thought of a, a deity, um, which I know that you know what that means. So I will, I will be helpful in that. Please call on me at that time. Thank you, Takur. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Takur, I yes. would like to know if you have any messages for me. And this is Valerie. Valerie, yes, I see that you have some... You had been working with some healing. 
One moment. Kurega Ashanti. You are very grounded at this time. You feel like things are very grounded and that you would like to start bringing in more fourth dimensional energy messages and that will happen. Continue to uh, feel... I'm... One moment. Is there something that you want to tell me? Well, I have been connecting completely, like, through all my chakras, and I just feel like um, I am definitely connecting with Mother, Father, God. Yes. And um, I am trying to put out as much love as possible to Excellent. those around me, and forgiveness as well. And... Um, so it's remained grounded then. And yeah. the thing is about right now is I don't see you pulling much ener much information back, but there is a lot of energy and information for you to bring back through the fourth dimension. And that's, that is where the confusion came in for me, is that you are very connected th through all of this, but yet the some of the messages are not getting through. I will be with you to help you with that. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, thank okay. you, Tucker. Um, yes. We are close to the end of the webinar. Yes. So we, uh, I want to invite uh, one of the humans from Human Colony on to speak to us because it's a request which was asked by many. So maybe you can bring up someone who can share their experience of going and maybe give advice on how to how to prepare yourself for going and maybe how to help the process. Very well then. I will see if there is one on the colony at this time. I've been spending a lot of time in the main portion of the control center, so I have not been on the colonies as per se. Okay. So I will see if there are any humans down there at this time. And thank you very, very much. Much gratitude from everybody. Thank you. Namaste, and I will talk to you again some other time. I hope all your questions have been answered sufficiently. Thank you. Yes, Tukur. Sufficiently for now, yes. Thank you, Tukur. Yeko wakashi. Yiko to kwa yamo kwa shatia. Yikura wa unda sushuto o. Konako. Ko. Mie kashu. Mie kashu, ito. Uh, everybody in Jane's room, can you please unmute? Thank you. Ah, can everyone hear me? Yes. This is Douglas. How are you? Hello, Douglas. Sorry for the delay. Um, the the question about coming holographically. Yes, there are, there are four of us who can come holographically from the Earth, but we are not part of Union Colony, and we've been coming holographically for many years, at least two or three. Well, it's more like three. So we know that what it is like to come here, and also we come site to site as well. But um, they they tested the holographic portion on us, and it worked very well. And so we're not sure why it doesn't work for the other people of human colony. But it does. There does seem to be something wrong, of course, and we do not know what that is yet. 
But for us, it's it's perfectly fine. We've re we've been able to do it. Perhaps uh, because we are not part of human colony, that has been a question that has been uh, asked several times and looked into. But so far, nothing has been found. I can tell you that the colonies are in good shape. Uh, while we are working on the holographic, there is they've done some improvements to different areas of the colonies, and so it is a, a time for the scientists to work and those that are analyzing the situation, and also time for the service people to work as well. So we are, are actually doing a little bit of an overhaul on the actual site. So. Um, Douglas. While, while uh, we are having some difficulties, we're working on making the site a little bit more uh, uh, better. Uh, well, what is the word? Accommodating, yes. Douglas, Douglas. This is Brian. How, Hi, how Brian. Are you? How are you? Great. Uh, my question was, you said even though you're outside of human colony and you've been doing this for years, what was it? Were you chosen and by who Well, and how? It, how that process? Did you, your body have to get used to that? Yes, actually it did. Because, um, you see, we came site to site and then we had to be uh, put on a an outfit to go into the fourth dimension until they figured out how to put us into the fourth dimension without it. And still we need a breathing apparatus because fourth dimension uh, doesn't have the oxygen that the third dimension has. So all we use now is a breathing apparatus when we go into the fourth dimension. But yes, we were chosen. We we um they visited us and asked us some questions. We did some interviews. There was about 600 people interviewed, and they selected four of us. This wasn't from the governments of the Earth, was it? Oh, no, no, no. This is before that they were involved. Ah, this is before okay. the involvement of governments in all this. When they found out what was happening with the different things in the human colony, then they became interested in controlling what was happening and so in good faith those people from uh, the Alliance said yes this is a good opportunity to build friendship to build a, a relationships and things of that matter but it seems that they are manipulating the relationship to their benefit constantly but that that is the way human pol politics works anyway but in good faith at this point, they are still working with the human uh, politics and governments in a way that is very friendly and is very beneficial. And, and Douglas, so are, the, last, the yeah. last thing I wanted to ask real quick was at the beginning stages, because that's yes. where many of us are for that, that holographic, you know, to do this. Yes. Um, what was it like? What was your feelings like? Even though you were chosen, what was the atmosphere like? What did you have to when you did you feel oh. them come to you? And where was your mental state? Oh, my mental state was very excited, but also a, a bit of fear because I knew that we'd be encountering species that might not look pretty to us, might not look beautiful, might not look uh, like friendly. There's the word. Um, they didn't. So they we were very much. Uh, told what to expect, as you are told what to expect when you come holy, uh, oh, uh, in the astral projection. You're told what you'll see and what you'll feel. However, when you come in the astral, you don't see things exactly the way you would if you came physically or holographically. So you don't see things. The perception is a little different. And so you see things. When you come sight to sight, you see things exactly how they are. And that can be much more frightening than coming in the astral because you're not really very, you feel a little safer not being very dense, very, very light, and knowing that you're not real, that they can't reach out and touch you. But um, you can touch them in certain ways, of course, and they can touch you in certain ways, but it is not physical. But when you're physical and you run into these beings, it can be a quite a different story. It's a quite a different feeling. So, um, but anyway, no, we were told exactly what to expect. We were told everything about the colonies. We learned, uh, we were given diagrams. They were told what they would like us to do. We were told 
of immense amount of information before we even left. That, so that was, um, was your interaction where you hybridized. Would that did that make the trip easier for a certain you know, DNA? We're not hybridized, not at all. Any hybridization that was in us was uh, already there. We did not accept any hybridization. They did not have a hybridization program actually installed yet. It was at the beginning stages, but it wasn't completed yet. So they you're talked about it. It was yeah. it was talked about. They had pros and cons within the the uh, alien communities about that and or the off world community, whatever community you want to call it. But they did have their they did come and you know express to us. Uh, do you think that this would be acceptable? Uh, what do you think of it? We were included in a lot of the decisions. In fact, they invited the four of us to one of their council meetings, and we did go, and it was very interesting because um, you, everyone spoke a different language, so we had to have it translated for us. It was very interesting. So, um, But we did decide that uh, doing a hybridization program would be a, a, an important part. And we so, and we know where they're coming from. We know their intentions. So it is not something to be feared, really. It, it's so all for the uh, positive yeah. benefit of the uh, gallery. Yes. Are you still there? Oh. I think he. Douglas. Oh. He dropped out. Did he drop? Yeah, I believe he did drop. I still see his. Icon, but no voice. Oh no! Well, keep a space, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was I was curious about behind the scenes. Yeah. Like how they chose him and why and how is it like, you know, if he had a certain DNA sequence, he made right. it easier for the transfer. You know how to go up and is it really? Yeah, because that's true. yeah. You were just getting going, weren't you, there, interviewer? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. I understand what we're going. Well, yeah, I never thought about that. It's really. wonderful, it's Brian. You need to do an interview with that. Like, how, did they, how did they get chosen? How did who who that's decided? Yeah, how did, who decided how those four? You know. Yeah, those four and why? And why? Yeah, well, yeah, had, exactly. Well, you know, it makes it easier for their for the trans site to site. You know, all that other stuff. Or maybe it's just like the rest of us. Maybe it's just intention. Yeah. Like I, something yeah. that interests yeah. you, yeah. and so they that know exciting. that, and you know, and it brings them down. Yeah, yeah. You're doing so it. Was physically there? No, he, he just he physically on the colonies as a human. Yes. Yes. Both. Yeah. In yeah the Michelle, go ahead and join there. with your opinion. I know we've talked to him before. I just can't remember like kind of the semantics so of where. Yeah. And... It was astral, and he went sight to sight. Yep. Yeah, Michelle says they didn't get chosen, they chose is what she heard. Oh, That's what okay. I and this okay. is what I heard too was is they chose. That's what I heard too. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, is our time up anyway? Do we need to Well, let's see if um if so Jake can get back in, then we can at least say goodbye to them on that side. And if he can't, then yeah, we'll we'll just um yeah, because it's getting close to your uh, their blessings start and start your um, uh, hangout too. Yes, yeah, it's um twelve oh six Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so he comes about the time. Yeah, because he's gonna want to break soon anyway. Because I think Max wanted to start at um. He's taking his nap though. Oh, that's so probably wait a half minute. Okay. We'll probably wait a half. Yeah, so you're down to about 25 minutes yeah, before yeah. yours yeah. starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So should we just go ahead and do the blessings for everyone who wants to speak today? Yeah, I guess we can start to do that, and then if Jim does yeah. come back in, we can Some say blessings goodbye. Some would be awesome, guys. Um, yeah. So yeah, whoever um, whoever would like to go. Um, Brian and I will just go last. So whoever wants to go, go ahead and go. Um, did you want to go first, Sarah? Okay, I can do the honors. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. T C K U S I T A K S U N I K I A S U A T A Y A S U K A T A L A N I Y A Y A I S A N I K I A T U K U S A T I L A T O 
asa osha eanyana kudushunya inkiosho itirasikio ko kakana keshotola na yati siana sa namaste namaste Namaste, Ashukwe Tiasa. I think I heard something about many happy faces or something. I kept hearing something about many smiling faces. Is Jim there, Douglas? Oh, is he back? Okay, go ahead. Douglas, are you back? We can't hear him. Are you there? Yeah, we can't hear you guys. They're not muted, are they? No. Okay. I love that, Michelle. <laughs> shiny, happy people holding hands. Yes, we are. Shiny, happy people holding hands. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. Well, oh, darn it. Aww. We're not going to get in You want to try to come back out, out and back he can in? hear the blessings? I wasn't sure if Mark wanted to try to come back out and in again to see if Jim could say goodbye. Thank you, Doug, Douglas, if you can hear this. Thank you for your yes. time, time, my friend. Yes, thank you, Douglas. Much love. Yeah, lucky, Isa. They can hear us. So I don't know if he want. Yeah, should we? Does some? Should we just go ahead and close? Yeah, does somebody else in? want? Does somebody else want to go? Um, does somebody else like to do a blessing? We'll just wrap it up, Mark, with the blessings. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining. Make sure to join afterward here in about uh, 25 minutes with the uh, three channeling together. It's going to be a wonderful, fun, awesome time. So make sure we don't even know it. what we're doing, so we're just going to wait. <laughs> it's going to be fun no matter what they do. <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay, we'll see Is you later. Is there anyone else that would like to say anything um, before we close out today? Any blessings? Okay. Uh, why don't you two go ahead? Okay, Brian. I'm going to let Jim come back. Oh. oh, we can hear you. Okay, we can hear you now. Great. Oh. Hi, Douglas. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Oh, we lost him again. It's something with the mic. It's, yeah. We oh. lost sound again, yes. Yeah. I think it's his mic, it's maybe. the mic. It might be plugged in. Is it plugged in on the oh, side? The connection. The, plug. the connection. On his mic. On the mic. Around his neck. I wonder if it can. There, I can, we can hear you now. Okay, I just switched to a different mic, which I tried before. Okay. Okay, now I can hear you. We can hear you now. Thank Douglas. you so much. Very well. I will let Jim come back at this time, and you can do your blessings. Okay, Douglas. Is there anything else you would you like to give us a blessing today? I'm not very good at that. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Much love, Douglas, to those on the colony. Thank you. Yes, please send Very well. Love. Have a wonderful day. I can say bless you very well, but <laughs> I'm not good at giving the blessings, no. Thank well, thank you for coming today. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Namaste. And you. We love you, Douglas. Bye-bye. Welcome back, Jim. Hello. Hey, Jim. Hey, how are you? Let's get him some. Hi, Jim. Drink. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hydrate. 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 This is off now, so. Okay. Ooh. Um. Sorry. No problem. Thank you, Jim. Takur had a lot of good information for us, and and Douglas came in for a bit as well, so. 
Very good. I'm glad you guys had a good time. So, um, did you say something about blessings? That was the last thing I heard was blessings. <laughs> yeah, yes, we're just going to finish up. Um, is going to California. All right, very good. Who wants to do a blessing? Anybody else before we close? If not, go ahead. Yep, me too. Me, I, I'm going to go. Oh, well, go, okay, sure. Go ahead. Many of the constellations speak for themselves, but we will tell you that our love for the, the world that you live in is great. We see the potential that you have and the reaching out of your goodness. Many of you are bringing hope to those in the galaxy that did not have much hope recently. And now we will tell you that your light is shining brightly. Santore Yamahai Yawan Tawahai Moayahasi Yanto Ayawahai Toari Yawahai Yawanawasi Tohayawanawahai Yawasi Atawahai Yawanawahi Yawahi Yawanawahi Yawahi Toari Yawahai Yawanawahai Yawahai Mohayawana Mohayan No Iwea Namaste Namaste. Do not do not forget to send light to the disturbances in the universe. Do not forget that there are other places other than where that you are. We are all waiting for the elements of light to shine to us from the ends of the universe. And we thank you for those great efforts that you are making at this time. We do see your light. But yet we know that it will be stronger very soon. Anybody else? Anyone else? Uh, yes, the Nagas want to uh, speak. Excellent. Namaste. Thank you for your connections. Thank you for your truth. Because without the truth of who you are, the truth of who we are cannot exist as well. We understand that there is time left between us to gain in friendship and to make friends with you. Contact is not yet in its personal way, but we are sending personal thoughts to you and thoughts of great connection. Thank you so much for your light, your understanding, and your truth. We look forward to that day when we can once 
be with you in a personal and true way and shake upon your hand. いしりおことのはいなしりかやおろそのの家いきあたりりあなにしやかたいやおそろににやきやしょろとのにいきてやえしりおことのはたてやいしやかたにやえよはいきあれやさりやのろことはいしりおことなにやしゃかてやとはwe are self-contained, but we are willing to reach out reach out our hands to you. Our lives are quite sufficient, but we are willing to reach out our hands to you. We understand that your friendship will bring much greatness to the galaxy, so we are willing to reach out our hands to you and love you as our neighbor. Do not send us away. Our light is as bright as yours, and our love is as great. Know this now that we are contacting you for the very first time in the sense that this message is brought to you through another language that is not ours. We love the fact that your understandings will reach through to us and we cannot express what we feel at this time but know that it is a positive feeling. Mm -hmm. No show ko a kapua koto yoko liasa tia kayima liasa to yoko haima la kohoa. Nina mora kashia kati liasa so yoko liakatima akora. No solora kashifu. Koya kaliupo ma ala soto kohala. No kora shishia naiki. Tulu rakasai pika la inka ke liasa to lora shaka mora. No koha kali akuha. Misoto koshani kaiwa. Soyolu asasia tai kakora pa alia kohana. Iliato do kosha shoyo kalia tima ali. Iliano no koraka shoyo kohaya walia kasika kitu asanina. Ora hakatoyo o soto lu kosha shoko yamagi. Iko soto solu ashashi kahila. Nina ala kwa kayo pua haki la ito kwa kasenye si so haka lua. Moto yoko so to lua kashika ina ato lua koso so yoko shuna. Ilisa ikuki ato yoko shushua haya kila sono maki lua. Amora ashi atia ayeta aliato o kwa ati anoe waka asho kwa itu la. Nita yoko so mayo ayilu kwa shushua ya. Mitia mahala amaniste. There are many of us who want to speak, but we do not know how. So I will speak for many. We do not know how to express our thanks to you, or exactly how we feel to you, but we do know that you understand that we are here in the realm of peace and understanding. We wish to give you nothing but our good side and bring nothing but our grace to you. So I speak for many people when I say that there are those that are out here that do not know how to express themselves, but wish you the greatest of success in your ascension, the greatest of the abilities to rise and become the species that will be our neighbor. We see that you will not change your appearance, we see that you will not change some of your habits, but that is not important. What is important is that we will be able to connect in the spirit of friendship, love, and unity, and that we will be able to understand each other as neighbors and friends of the universe. The galaxy is small compared to many places in the universe, and so all together we speak as one should show you that we are on your side. Ah, yes, we know that there are those that are 
negatively uh, possessed to work against you. But we will not let that interfere with our becoming friends. It's beautiful. Okay, I'd just like to add that Hukalu, for all those people watching and all those people that are new, is just a wonderful place to connect with all the people that will become your friends, and then they'll become your family. And they will help you and me connect with our galactic family and share our light and love. So be, be not afraid. Come join us. Thanks. <laughs> Have a great guys. day, everybody. Thank you. Much Thank love. You. Namaste. Love to all of you in the room. Maki Shotoya. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you all. Thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye. I hope you, even though we had a lot of technical difficulties, I hope you had a good time. We had a great time, Jim. Thank I think you. It went really great. You're welcome. We got a lot of questions answered, and we thank you so much. And thank namaste. You. And thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Thanks, Valerie.